ABC 7 update on the report of vehicles towed from a housing complex. Reporter Will Heron spoke with the El Paso Housing Authority, which runs the apartments, to find out why renters' vehicles were towed away from their homes. The safety of the residents. Roman Robles, the spokesperson for the El Paso Housing Authority, told me that he feels for the people that had their vehicles towed, but that the policy has been in effect for the past 10 years. Robles says they house 40,000 people in El Paso, which is 6% of the population. He wants to make sure all of those families are safe. Just like a professional office, you guys have a sticker to make sure the people are there who need to be there. Just the same thing. Safety is, is the highest priority for us. Some of the residents require daily visits from outside medical professionals. Robles says that shouldn't be an issue. I know people have nurses and people who come in and things like that. They just come and check in the office and just let people know. We're very transparent. Just let people know who's coming if you have a visitor. So I wanted to know how difficult it was to get a parking permit for a vehicle. You, you give them your paperwork, so you have to be in compliance with the state, make sure you have your insurance and everything that you require, you know, like a driver's license, and then you just come in and they give you a sticker. Robles said that many of the housing complexes have a certain amount of parking spots, so they need to make sure the people that are parking belong there. He also added the price for the permit is free. Will Heron, ABC7. Robles told ABC7 last year they suspended the parking permit policy to promote social distancing between the residents and the housing authority staff during the pandemic.